<laughs> now, I'm curious to find out how Gawin.ph became a household name when it came to home improvements. I was telling Fui earlier that, you know what, the reason we actually, I actually said, let's do Gawin.ph is because you guys kept on popping up uh, in my in my timeline on Facebook. So yeah. tell me a bit more about the, the marketing that went into doing Gawin.ph. Right. So, you know, um, we understood, and I think that um, Filipinos were big on social media, mm -hmm. right? Facebook, and, and it was huge. So that was obviously the best medium in which we could reach out to, um, um, well, people like for, like yourselves, you mm -hmm. know, who need the services. Um, so we have an in-house digital marketing team um, that sets up all of these ads, um, creates the community around Facebook, and reaches out to people through um, 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 that medium. Yeah. And having said all that one, uh, let me pretend right now that I am one of your clients and uh, I want to do uh, house cleaning. Sure. So I understand you can also access uh, going.ph on, on your mobile yeah. or also here on your, uh, on your computer. Sure. So I'll just type it in and oops, house cleaning. House cleaning. Right. Okay. And let's just say you're looking for it in Makati. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so you go into it and you click proceed. And what happens is you're brought to a questionnaire form mm -hmm. that's tailored specifically to house cleaning and the needs or the typical needs of a user when it comes to house cleaning. Okay. So the first question really is uh, how often do you need it? Let's just say you need a one-time cleaning. Okay. So that, how many hours, um, an estimation, typically let's say four hours, that's the typical. Okay. Um, how many cleaners you need, it's up to you as well. Let's say um, two. Yeah, okay. let's say two. And what kind of property do you live in? Wow. Very specific. Um, okay. As specific as possible. And there's a reason for that, which I'll explain in a moment. Um, so you put in here, let's just say it's 1,000 square feet. A square feet, not square meters. Huh? Uh, actually, it's square meters. That's, a big, that's a big property that he's right. got right there. It's just an example. Okay. Yeah. So then do you want a cleaner to provide uh, supplies and materials? If you say okay. so, then yes. And you then also have an additional text box here, which allows you to put in any other details that you, you may wish. You know, maybe you have a certain thing um, like you have cats and dogs or whatever. Well, let's say know. that I have a dog. Yeah, I have a dog. Uh, okay. Right. Um, and when when do you need it? You can always put a date here. Okay. Let's just say you need it sometime next week. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the information is pre-filled in for you. All right. You give us your contact details, and s every now and then we do run promos. Mm -hmm. So if you have a promo code, you can insert it here and then you send a request. So um, the reason why we try to be as specific as possible is we want to match you with a service provider who can really take care of your needs. Okay. And the only way to really do that is to know as much as we can about the problem or the service that you need. So what then happens is that when this request gets sent across, um, it gets um, sent out to our service providers, the pool of vetted and verified service providers that we already have on the platform. Okay. All right. And, um, and I can show that to you um, through the app, um, both. And so now this one is for, this is the view of the service provider. Of the service provider That's now, right. okay. So imagine like just now, you had sent your request and okay. I'm a cleaner. Okay. I would typically get all the requests here. You can see from this part, these are all the new requests no. that I can respond to. Essentially, customers who are looking. So these, these are the names of the customers who are looking right. for people. That's correct. So these are new services, uh, new service requests, mm -hmm. um, the name of the customer, the type of the service, and where they need that service. Mm -hmm. For these service providers, um, you install, I guess, the, the app for them yeah. uh, here? It, they can just go to the website yeah. and access their account I see. or download the app on Android or the, uh, the Google Play Store or the um, um, App Store. And then how do you actually source them and vet these local uh, service providers? How do right. you they're good? We have a pretty uh, a comprehensive uh, system and process. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in the early days, obviously, a lot of it was manual, like how mm -hmm. I described it. Right now, as the platform grows, we have a lot of people who want to grow their business and they sign up on their own. But having said that, the process hasn't changed much in terms of how detailed we go. We do a verification, mm -hmm. we get information about their business, you know, how many people that they have on board, the names and so on. Um, and we also get license and business registration documentation. Um, and we also do checks on social media just to make uh, sure. I guess so, uh, from what I'm picking up from you, um, these are, these are not individuals who can actually go to you, but rather cleaning service providers. It depends. You could be a freelancer, you could be a two-man show, small business, a sole proprietor. We don't uh, um, um, discriminate based on that. You know, we, It's all, at the end of the day, whether those requirements as far as quality and verification are passed, then 
that's fine with us. And it says over here that there's uh, seven credits. What does the yep. credits mean? So the credits is what we charge to the service providers. If you're a service provider, um, at when you first sign up, it's completely free, mm -hmm. and you get a set of free credits to respond to clients. But when those uh, free credits run out, you'd have to buy prepaid credit packs. And every time you respond to a client, there's a deduction of uh, um, um, credits. Sort of like you're paying for the service of being uh, being uh, put together with the client. That's correct. Okay, I that's get correct. It. And okay. every um, the the cost of uh, responding to a client is different for each service. So I see. for a small service, it's a lesser number of credits. For a big service like renovation, let's say, I see. it's higher. As far as the service providers are concerned, we do a lot of education, if you want to call it that, or helping them sort of tell them, hey, you know, these are the natural. Uh, market prices and we help them also in building their profiles and getting hired. This is a lot of the value add that you can expect as a service provider okay. on, on our But now they get back to you. So let's say That's for right. example they get back to me right now. What do I see? Okay. Uh, a compilation of services and the prices? All right. So if you recall um, just now we showed how it would be for the service provider. Mm -hmm. So the service provider sends this code mm -hmm. as a user as a consumer for your house cleaning you were looking for house cleaning you can get up to five different responses from different service providers. So here's a typical look at um, how it would be for you as a consumer. Mm -hmm. It's your personal dashboard mm -hmm. where you can see the quotes as well as the personal message from each of the service providers. Now I'll run you through this very quickly. Mm -hmm. So from here, these are the four people in this instance mm -hmm. who have responded to your request for house cleaning. You could see their names the reviews, the average reviews that they've received so far, mm -hmm. the estimated price code, and their contact number and details here. And at the bottom is the personal message that they sent to you. What we're aiming to do here really is make it really, really easy for a, serv for a user to get all of the important information before making the commitment to hire. What's the waiting time for the, for the, uh, for the customer to yep. receive all the quotes? Yep, pretty quick. I'd say, you know, um, you can expect to get up to three, four, or five codes um, in, in a couple of hours. A couple of hours. So, you know, again, going back to that situation where before Gawin, everything was, I would say, manual, right? If you were looking for a cleaner, in your, in your case, to clean your home, um, you'd probably call somebody you know, and if you want to do a comparison, you'd have to do that couple of times. And, and sometimes you don't even have time to do a comparison. You just go and exactly. wh whoever my, my, my mother or my friend exactly. recommends to me and I'll just pick this person Exactly. Up. And whether that's really what you want, whether that's good for you. And if the service is good, you can't tell because... You can't tell. You can't tell. You can't tell. How about the payment? How does the payment work? Is it by credit card? Is it by actual giving cash to that one? Um, we leave that open to the service provider and the customer. It's really up to them. At the end but then how do, you, how, do you make, uh, the, how do you make any money from being the middleman uh, yeah. by doing that? So as I mentioned, when the quote or when they respond, um, the credits are deducted. So that's where we make the money. Oh, so you don't, make, you don't make money in the actual transaction? Not on the tra yeah. So there's no commission you make on the transaction? No, no. The, the, the charge is before. I'm actually very interested to check out uh, the plumbing services in the near future. But before that, I'd like to ask you a very important question about Gawin.ph. Are you guys making money? But we'll find it out right after the break.